tension, terror, team, tactics, tools, technology. If you distill every aspect of, of what makes an XCOM game an XCOM game, all those elements come together to form the, the universe that you play in. The Bureau of XCOM classified as, as basically a squad versus squad tactical combat game. Over there. The T's that involve, you know, that are part of the core of the XCOM franchise are all related to trying to find this real-time expression of the classic XCOM pillars. One of the biggest T's uh, would be that of team. In the XCOM game, you're not a one-man army. You're not Rambo uh, facing the alien threat by yourself. It's about a, a group of individuals working together and that cohesion of that group, that is using your brains, always outnumbered, never outgunned because of your coordination. Scatter that position. Attacking your target. The emphasis on team is primarily through a Agent William Carter, your main avatar, and the agents that you customize and build and grow and add to your, your stable, your roster of agents that you take to the field to get success against the alien threat. You can't overstate the emphasis on tactics in the BRX when classified and XCOM in general. The concept of it's not just I walk into the middle of the battlefield and shoot my shotgun in an alien's face, but it's the I have to use my brains. We're going to use flanking maneuvers, take positions. So how you directly control your team in the battlefield is crucially important. Smart tacticians are going to have success and people who try to play our game a little more action-y, a little more Rambo-y are, are just going to die. <laughs> XCOM is always about aliens invading our planet and the organization having to rise up using the technology that they have at hand at the moment of the invasion, but then learning and growing from the alien threat. So the emphasis on having a, a level up progression as we move from bullets to laser weaponry, or laser weaponry to plasma weaponry. So the march of technology's progress is, is crucial to the XCOM franchise and also expressed in the Bureau, XCOM reclassified. Technology and tools uh, are something that kind of go hand in hand. The biggest utility you get from the, the tech in, in the form of tools is the powers that you're able to assign to your, your agents. During the course of the game, as you kill things and progress, you'll get experience points. You use that to level or rank up your squad mates across the various agent classes. As they level up, you're able to unlock different abilities that you can select and thus customize them. Like cool things like a fire mission strike of artillery or like a, you know, a cloaking ability, these sorts of things. These are the tools that you use in the battlefield, kind of like a combat tool chest, and it's up to you to decide how to put them together for success. We definitely play a lot with the, with the terror aspect of you know, the visual design of the enemy, along with the narrative that we're telling about why they've come to our planet, what they're doing now that they're here, and what it's gonna cost for us to stop them. So what we're doing is scary, if not horrific, I think helps keep uh, our game in line with the XCOM franchise pillars, but also it sort of keeps it in line with just general alien fiction uh, that's you know, in geek culture. In the Bureau, we've sort of taken the tension aspect of the XCOM franchise up a few notches because we do have this real-time expression of our tactical combat system. So you're feeling the repercussions of your battle plans, whether, you know, ideally smart plans, but, you know, if they're bad, you're going to really feel the repercussions of those in real time, ratcheting up this tension. The concept of what you're doing is not just uh, pure adrenaline. There's a bit of, of reflection. There's a built of mounting pressure. The concept that it's up to you to uh, use your brain and make decisions, snap decisions that are fast, but uh, that you don't have all the time in the world to evaluate uh, is at, at the heart. So by including the battle focus UI, the real-time control of your squad mates, and really emphasizing uh, fine level tactical control in the third person in a way most games haven't done in the genre, I felt like we brought the game closer to the goals originally, the experiment, find a new expression of the classic XCOM pillars. And I think that we have done this and hit all these T's along the way.